everybody. It is a uh, relatively mild start to our day out there and an interesting morning out there as we do have some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now, Featurecast really not doing it justice as we've had some activity uh, just north of the Tri-Cities this morning, about as far south as the Loop City and St. Paul areas. May even sneak into the Grand Island area. Far the south, a couple of pop-up showers have tried to get going, but really not having much, much success. I think this activity as it spreads southeast will kind of fall apart. We'll end up with quite a bit of sunshine for the day. A breezy southeast wind, not as strong in the eastern part of the state, but certainly much stronger as you get farther to the west. We'll start to see a few clouds out west later today and even storms trying to develop out in the panhandle of Nebraska late this afternoon into this evening. That's where your best bet of severe weather will be this evening is going to be out towards the west with wind and hail your primary threats. As we get later into the night, these will spread eastward. Still a small chance of some severe weather, but they will weaken as they push farther to the east into central Nebraska. We'll have some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area as we start off your Friday morning. And uh, they'll kind of fall apart by the mid to late morning hours. We'll get a bit of a break. And then more development is expected later on tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Your best bet for that development of storms will be in the southwestern parts of the area. And then those will lift eastward into northeastward into the area. So I think uh, if we do see severe weather, better chances the farther southwest you go. We'll keep those chances going into Friday night. Pockets of heavy rainfall, some severe weather. The severe weather threat will go down a little bit towards early Saturday morning. Still a few showers and thunderstorms in the area. Kind of like Friday, once again Saturday, we may get some breaks in the precipitation before more widespread development comes in for Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. Uh, this time, this is as a cold front will be pushing southeastward across the area. Where that front ends up being will be very important to our forecast. This particular model has that front from around Sioux City to Grand Island to between McCook and Smith Center, Kansas there. And you can see the low pressure area just southwest of the Kearney area around Holdridge. If this front is farther southeastward, the better chance will be in the southeastern parts of the area. If it's going much slower, we could see these storms fire up a little farther northwest. But northwest of that front, you'll have more stable air. Some showers and storms, but not much of a severe weather threat. So the severe weather threat will be determined by exactly where that front ends up being. But these will continue to be in the area for late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. This is as far out as my forecast model goes to 1 a.m. Sunday. But we'll see some of the activity possibly through about sunrise or so Sunday morning. Then we'll dry things out with uh, a cool day set for Sunday. We will start to warm things up then early next week. So again, severe weather threat for late today and into tonight. Best chances out in western Nebraska. Small chance in central Nebraska as those storms push east or they'll weaken with time. Tomorrow, I think, is our best chance of severe weather over the next couple of days, especially focusing in southwest Nebraska, the best bet. But even around the Tri-Cities, as we get towards uh, tomorrow night, there's a chance of severe weather. Once again, mostly a wind and hail threat. Isolated tornadoes possible in southwest Nebraska. Now, Saturday, I think this one will change a little bit. Now, again, the focus is towards southeast Nebraska for the best chance of severe weather. But I could easily see this maybe expanded back to the west a little bit to include more of the viewing area, uh, as, especially if that front does end, end up coming through a little bit slower. Once again, mostly a wind and hail threat. The problem, if you're looking for tornadoes, and I know a lot of us don't like tornadoes, but for those that maybe want to see some tornadoes, the problem is we're in more of a summer-like weather pattern right now with the jet stream way up to the north, which means our upper level support with these storms, not really there. Uh, the upper wet level winds are very light, and you need some stronger upper level support to get good storms with some tornado activity. So even though we're getting into peak tornado season right now, uh, just not a lot of that type of weather. Even with severe weather in the forecast, tornado-wise, there's not a lot of that uh, in the forecast here over the next uh, several weeks to come. Well, today going to be on the warm side out there into the mid-80s, isolated thunderstorms, then mostly sunny. Out west, mostly, mainly, mostly sunny skies and clouds later in the day, mid and maybe even upper 80s for high temperatures, mostly mid-80s in the south. I go with mainly sunny, although there are a few of those clouds this morning and maybe a couple of spotty showers that will quickly give way to mostly sunny skies. Out east, mainly sunny skies, temperatures into the mid-80s. Your winds will be lighter to the east compared to folks farther to the west. Going through the next couple of days, we'll see a cooling trend, although not overly cool. Uh, again, that late night, early morning chance of showers and storms, and another chance late Friday afternoon into Friday night. Some of that will continue into Saturday and Saturday night. Early Sunday morning, we'll see the rain chances start to come to an end. Most of your Sunday drive, mostly cloudy skies, though, will keep us cooler, but not a bad day if you have plans Sunday, looking pretty good with highs in the 60s. And then we'll start to warm things back up Monday and the Tuesday and Wednesday. Still some off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms Monday afternoon to Monday night. And then again, Tuesday into Tuesday night. Wednesday looks like a little better chance to scatter showers and storms. But again, 
If we do see severe weather, it's mostly going to be wind and hail, and not as much of a tornado threat. Our weather pattern really not changing in the next week as that jet stream still stays well to our north. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Kloneski. Hope you all have a great uh, Thursday. God bless. Bye.